I think I finally found the wig. This is gonna be my go-to wig, definitely. Like, it's gorgeous. Let's get into this hair. So this wig will be linked below in the description box for you guys. I also have some brand new discount codes that will save you more money when you are purchasing your wig. This wig today comes from Ronnie Hair. Again, the link will be in the description box. I am so excited about this wig because like, look at it. Like, why would not be? <laughs> so this is a delicate hairline Swiss lace wig. It is a 13 by 6 cap. Um, the lace is definitely that Swiss lace transparent lace. And it is a 16 inch. This wig comes in a length 10 inch to a 16 inch. And they have cap sizes for you and also densities. I want to say this. I believe that this wig is 150% density. But if you feel like it's a little bit more, they do have an option to get it in 180. So if you want more fullness, you can go for a 180. But I don't know. I think mine is a 150. I'll put everything in the description box. However, this wig has these beautiful highlights going through. It's just giving. This wig is just giving. So I'm excited to show you all how I installed this wig and I give you guys my full take on what I think as I'm installing but yeah be sure to check that description box below let's jump right on in let's start this wig installs and this wig I'm gonna try to keep very simple when installing I want to do the best I can to get it to look exactly like the picture because a lot of times when you get these wigs they be in a box and when they come out they kind of aren't styled the way they are on the website so that's what we're going to achieve today to apply my wig cap I did do a video on how to cover braids make sure to check out this video just popped out also, this company is giving you guys big discounts below. I will put them color. I absolutely love the color of it. As you can see, it has some highlights going through. This is a 13 by 6 lace cap. The hair on this wig is super silky, soft. It, it has a thickness to it. It's not doing too much in color. It's doing just enough. I'm doing my wig installs that are like day-to-day -day wear or at least a three to five day wear I never really do the ball cap method so I kind of just put them on like this but what I do I always try to cut back this elastic right here so that it won't be uncomfortable and it won't show too much through the wig cap so I just kind of take my scissors and put like a small cut like that take about that much off so that it can go like this and just be a little bit more comfortable and I know at least I can cover this today I have on a little bit of bronzer so what I'm gonna do is take the bronzer that I'm wearing and apply it right to the line because I know some of you be like Marie why don't you never do the ball cap method where your wig cap won't show under your wig it don't bother me sometimes it just depends on my mood I'm gonna cover it for you guys so we won't see it that much now the knots on this wig is very small just looking at them they look really good that they did slightly bleach them but I'm gonna go back with a little bit of lace tint but this time I'm not gonna take it to the hairline because well I do have on bronzer today so normally if I'm not wearing makeup the light brown color is too dark on my forehead and kind of darkens the lace a bit something else I like to do is mix that color with the medium warm beige which is a little bit lighter let's see Ooh, already I'm feeling some type of way oh this is nice really really nice like look at the scalp area okay this is the picture on the website and the hair matches it to the T I just have to get the style back let's get it back so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my hair wax stick this is a she is bomb wax stick go into the hairline with it and the parting of I'm gonna keep the middle part because I like the style that they have in the picture I think this is gonna be my go-to wig definitely once I take my braids out this is gonna be my go-to wig all right so you know the drill let's push this hairline back honey and see what we got going on go down this parting flatten it down girl already and I may need to push my wig cap back a little bit more. Sometimes you may need to do that, especially if the hairline goes down a bit. Already, I know this is going to turn out really pretty. Um, and this wig is a wig that you can take straight out the box and wear it. It does have that pre-plucked hairline. With just a little bit I've done, it already looks so good. I love the hair on this wig and I haven't washed it. Let's talk about the lace before I cut it. As you can see, the lace, this is... Swiss lace. So Swiss lace is a bit softer. It's not like the transparent lace which has that white tint to it. This one is more clear and as you can see already it looks really good as far as how well it blends with the skin. The hairline looks fabulous. Push my natural edges back. But as you can see the hairline looks 
absolutely amazing. I really love that already this wig is giving, like it's giving so much. My go-to wig definitely is giving for the girls. The hair is full from root to tip. Now today I'm not going to glue this wig down so if you want to see how to easily install a wig with the lace already cut check out yesterday's video. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove this extra lace. Hairline I may take it back in this area just a little bit. I can't find my little small scissors so I'm just going to use these and try not to do such a clean cut with it. So yeah let's get rid of this extra lace around the ear first. Make sure it falls right. Follow the natural hairline or the delicate hairlines. You want to you know cut it according to the hairline. Sometimes if you feel like it's too thin you can definitely take it back just a little bit. They give you enough space to do that and a cap will still fit properly. These scissors being a little bit bigger than the ones I like to use. I'm making sure to just go in a zigzag motion a little bit and I'm using the tip of the scissors. Alright look at that. Look at that lace. Like look at the lace, it is blending so very well. And shout out to everyone in the comment section. I see you guys. Thank you guys for your support, for showing up each day. Thank you for showing up to my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. Ugh, you can't even look at that. You can't even tell that I didn't cut the lace there when I turned like this. That is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, girl. All right, so straight out the box, as you can see, like girl, this wig is giving. Like I don't even really want to touch it with the flat iron. Um, one thing I noticed about the picture, the hair almost looked like it's layers. With the company, they didn't cut any layers in the wig, so they kind of bent it. I don't know if they would, when they curled it, they kind of put a bend to give it that effect. So I'm going to take about this much hair from the top. Oh my god, I'm scared. But I'm going to take about this much. Yeah, and I'm just pin this away for now. Anytime I'm cutting layers on a wig, I always be so scared but I, I do have a way that I cut it if you want to see that I also have a video I recently did full of details um, let's take a is that enough oh yeah that's enough so you kind of want to get the same on both sides you want to get the same amount of hair so I'm going to start from the bottom and I think this hair would look really good if you did like a roller set it would give the flow of the hair back instead of just using using a straightener by itself it would give a lot of the volume back to the hair and this hair is absolutely gorgeous so what I'm doing right now is just kind of hitting it with some heat to knock out any frizz from it sitting in the box. And all the tools that I use in today's video will be in my Amazon storefront link. Check the link in the description box. Look at that highlight. I love the highlight on this wig. They're so soft but give so much to the hair. It complements the color so well. Like I said, I want it to look like, you know, that, like the picture. The picture definitely has a longer layer, I say about right here, so that's where we're going to cut it. And I'm going to use my razor comb to do this because scissors will give it a blunt cut and I don't want it to have that. So we are going to start right here. And just go in a feathered motion, just kind of feather it. Oh, and the razor always frizz up the hair, I be hating that so much, it's whatever. <laughs> just brush it out oh man I hope all of you have been staying safe with this hurricane that's been happening we it didn't hit us that hard here yet we just got a lot of rain hope you guys are staying positive you know keeping safe if it is affecting you okay what are we thinking let's see what are we thinking I'm looking at the picture <laughs> and also looking at what I'm doing to see if I'm hitting it where it needs to be I think I am a little bit. I think I am. I'm going to try it again. I mean, turn my flat iron up. Sometimes you got to turn your curler up a little bit. Try to lift it up and bend and bend and bend and bend and bend. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that until I'm just going to spray it. So I'm going to do the same thing with this side. bring this up. and then this side is always tricky for me especially when the wig is on my head so I think I'm gonna turn my hand the opposite way do a slight bend it was a little complicated lifting this side just because it's on my head that's why sometimes I like to pre-style my wigs um, prior I feel like it's looking let's see looking very similar all right so I think the only thing I need to do now 
is give it some lift right around this area and go back and push this hairline now remember I have not glued this wig down it's still just sitting on my head look at that look at that look that is amazing and you just take the hot comb and pull upwards hold it and then let go if you want to give that lift you can also use hairspray to make it stay a lot longer I'm going to use some right around the hairline because I feel like it'll hold the shape that I'm going for better than a wax stick will. A little sizzle. Yes. See? Gave it lift. Yeah. The hairspray is definitely better. And then I like to flatten down the parting with the hot comb. Make sure it's blending with my... This looks so freaking good. All right, let's look at the picture again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm? Huh? I think so. Like, the highlights even match. Yes, girl. Okay, so I think this turned out really good. Like, tch, Ronnie Hair, you did that with this wig. It was so easy to actually get the style that you see in the picture. And the hair is just fabulous. Like, the hair... It's gorgeous. It's a good density and the texture um, definitely is silky, but it has a lot of body to it. It has fullness from root to ends, and I love the cuts. It, it just it's just giving. Okay. Um, now I do wish I could have curled this a little bit more, but I mean, it still looks good to me. Like the hairline and everything is blending very well. Even after I did the two sprays, I think yesterday when I used the light brown. Um, the lace showed on my forehead a lot with that wig and that's because I sprayed it there so remember if you don't spray it to the hairline if you're in my complexion it'll be okay or if you're wearing makeup it'll probably, probably blend a lot better but don't forget that the discount codes are in the description box definitely because this is going to be my go to wig as soon as these braids come out this wig is the everyday wig honey yes alright so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back in my next video. Be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe if you're new, and check out my previous videos if you missed them. Thank you guys.